Hey guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video I will be going through all the trades that happened in 2023. I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. It will be a long one, so stick around. Before we get into this video, I would appreciate it if you guys left a like and subscribe to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded in about a week's time, but the uploads will start to come in this off-season. I've been focusing on a lot of other things, but let's get straight into this video. The first trade that was announced in the 2023 trade period was unrestricted free agent James Jordan, who requested a trade to Sydney. This trade was confirmed on the 6th of October on the Friday morning. In return, Melbourne ended up getting end of round 2 compensation pick, which is currently pick 35 at the moment. GWS Ruckman Matt Flynn is officially heading to West Coast at an unrestricted free agent after the paperwork was completed on Friday afternoon. The 26-year-old nominated the Eagles earlier this week after being starved of opportunities in the second half of 2023 following the emergence of Kieran Briggs. In return, GWS get end of round 2 compensation pick, which is currently pick 40. Defender Joel Hamling has officially joined Sydney as an unrestricted free agent. It is the 30 year old's fourth club after previously being listed after along the Dogs and Freo. Hamling has been offered a one year contract extension at the Dockers but opted instead to join the Swans. The grand finalist Brisbane has strengthened its defence with the signing of Tom Doty from Adelaide on a four year contract. The Crow was not elected to match with the Lions after it was lodged on Monday morning. In return, Adelaide get an end of round one compensation pick which is currently pick 19 at the moment. Or Adelaide has traded its future first round pick to Fremantle for two second round selections as the power build their draft hand to bring in their trade targets. The next trade we saw was a first round pick which is pick 4 at the moment, two third round picks which are currently 46 and 51 and a future third round pick which is tied to Gold Coast. The Suns ended up receiving two first round picks which is currently 10 and 17 and a future first round pick which is tied to the Dogs. Todd Goldstein has officially joined Essendon as an unrestricted free agent after 315 games for North Melbourne. The 35-year-old Goldstein has signed a one-year deal with the Bombers, reuniting with the former coach, Brad Scott. The Kai's move to Essendon was confirmed on Tuesday, with the 25-year-old signing a six-year deal after eight years at North Melbourne. North Melbourne is well placed to launch a raid on West Coast number one pick after getting the number three pick as compensation for departing free agent Ben Mackay. Melbourne Premiership player James Harms has been traded to the Western Bulldogs. The Bulldogs' interest in the 28 year old James Haas was reported on Saturday and the deals was home on Tuesday, with the Demons securing a future third round pick in return. Former pick 5 in the draft, Dylan Stevens, has officially joined North Melbourne in a trade with Sydney. The Swans have partners with Stevens and pick 25 and received North's end of the first round pick next year plus pick 44 this year. Melbourne have officially run the race to secure Gold Coast prized draft pick, pick 11, as part of a multi club, multi trade pick swap on Wednesday afternoon. The Demons had secured the pick 11 in the draft in exchange for picks 14, 27 and 35 which now belong to the Suns. Gold Coast tall Chris Burgess has got his trade with landing at Adelaide in a deal that also netted the Crows pick 14 in this year's draft from the Suns in exchange for Adelaide's pick 23 and 26. North Melbourne has traded out the second of its two future first round assistant picks from the AFL in a deal with Gold Coast that has netted the Kangaroos pick 18 in this year's draft. Just hours after the Kangaroos set one of its future assistant picks to Sydney in a trade that netted them Dylan Stevens and pick 25, the Roos shipped out the other, other to the Suns in exchange for Gold Coast pick 18, which the Suns has secured from the Western Bulldogs on Monday. Brody Grundy is officially a Sydney player, joining the Swans from Melbourne. The Demons have received pick 46 in this year's draft, as well as Sydney's second round pick next year in exchange for sending the Ruckman to Harbour City. Sydney has added a hard edge to its midfield, completing a deal with Collingwood to land Magpies vice-captain Taylor Adams, with their deal going through on Wednesday in exchange for pick number 33 in the draft. North Melbourne has landed current small defender Zach Fisher. Fisher had landed the Kangaroos along with pick 17 in exchange for pick 21 and 25, going to the Blues. Essendon has landed a third free agent this offseason with Jade Gresham joining the Bombers from St Kilda. After bringing in Ben McKay and Todd Goldenstein from North Melbourne, the Bombers have signed Gresham in exchange for an end of round one compensation pick which is currently pick 21. Melbourne has moved to add a tall forward to its lift after Brody Grundy's departure, completing a deal for Tom Fullerton from Brizzy on Friday afternoon in exchange for a third round pick which is currently 47. Tyler Brock will be a West Coast player next season after a deal was agreed with Hawthorne on Saturday. The Eagles have parted with picks 44 and 63 in exchange for the lively forward. North Melbourne has added another tool to its list, completing a deal with Richmond's by Goa Nylon on Monday. 
The Kangaroos brought in Nylon, the 22-year-old, in exchange for pick number 65. Fremantle holds three first-round picks for the 2024 National Draft after doing a deal with Collingwood for small forward Lockie Schultz. Magpies landed Schultz in exchange for pick 34 and Collingwood's first-round pick next year. St Kilda have completed a deal for an out-of-contract Fremantle winger, Liam Henry. The 22-year-old makes the move to Saints after St Kilda sent its future second-round and fourth-round picks to the Dockers, receiving Henry and Fremantle's the fourth-round pick in return. Melbourne has secured forward Shane McAdam after the trade was agreed with Adelaide on Tuesday. The Demons have partied with their future second-round selection for the 28-year-old, who just played seven senior games this year. Former Tom Tett picks Paddy Yao and Nick Caulfield had landed at new clubs in a four-club trade that was agreed on Tuesday and conferred by the AFL on Wednesday afternoon. With future fourth round pick Tyler DeFrey going to Carlton, second round pick currently pick 49 of the Saints, future fourth round pick going to the Blues, future third round pick going to the Saints, future third round pick going to the Saints as well, a second round pick which is 35 going to the Bombers, a future fourth round pick type to Carlton going to the Bombers, a third round pick currently 52 going to the Dogs, Third round pick currently 56 going to the Dogs. Richmond Premiership player Ivan Solder is set to lead Powell's Ruck Department next season after being traded to Powell on Wednesday. The Tigers have received picks 41 and 49 and a future second round pick tied to Fremantle as well as Port's future fourth round pick in exchange for Soldo, with the Powell also getting Richmond's top 50 in return. Jack Ginevan will play for Hawthorne next year after Cullen small forward agreed to a trade on the final day of the trade period. Less than 24 hours after news emerged of Hawthorne's interest in Jack Ginevan, a deal was completed that sees the two clubs swap their tra- second round picks this year and their 2024 second round picks. Hollywood also exchanges t- 2024 fourth round pick for Hawthorne's third round pick. Port Adelaide has followed the signing of Ivan Solo by bringing in another Ruckman agreeing to a trade with the Western Bulldogs for the 25 year old Jordan Sweet. Sweet, who requested a trade to the power last month, will move to Alvin in exchange for Port's pick 50 in this year's draft. Geelong defender Asava Radigali has made the move to Port Adelaide after the two clubs finally engaged to a trade. After missing out on a move to power last year, Radigali has joined Port on the final day of the 2023 trade period in exchange for picks 25, 76 and 94 for the 25 year old. Former top 10 pick Elijah Hollands will join his brother Ollie Hollands at Carlton in 2024 after being traded the Blues from Gold Coast. A deal for Hollands, the number 7 pick in the 2020 draft, was struck between the Suns and Blues on the final day at the AFL draft. The Blues have sent a future third round selection and pick 26 to the Suns for Hollands in exchange for 28 and a future fourth round pick. Richmond and Hawthorne have agreed to a deal to make forward Jacob Kaczynski a Tiger. Kaczynski, the 23 year old, has joined the Tigers who have been sent pick 49 to Hawthorne. Former pick 3 Jack Billings will play for Melbourne next season after the Demons and St Kilda agreed to a trade on the final day of the trade period. The Dees parted with their future third round pick in exchange for 28 year old Jack Billings. They also have the Western Bulldogs future third round selection. Jack Gunson has been granted his return to Hawthorne with the Hawks setting Brandon Ryan of Brisbane. A three time premiership player of the Hawks, Gunston returns after spending the 2023 season with the Lions. The Lions have sent a future third round selection to tied to Brisbane and picks 47 61 to Hawks along with Gunston. Ryan, a future fourth rounder, tied to Hawthorne and picks 39 and 54 heading to Brisbane. Hawthorne has bolstered its forward stocks with the addition of Marby O'Chell from Gold Coast. The 26 year old joins the Hawks after two seasons at the Suns, where he was the club's leading goal here in 2022. Hawthorne will receive pick 62 as the part of the deal with the Suns as well. Essendon and Port Adelaide have finally agreed on a deal that will see Brandon Zerk Thrasher move to power and Xavier Dirgebet land at the Bombers. The deal went down in the wire in the 2023 trade period with Zerk Thrasher pick 73 and two future fourth round picks headed to power in exchange for 23 year old Xavier Dirgebet. Massimo D'Ambrosio made his move to Hawthorne after the Hawks struck a deal with Essendon right as the trade deadline expired. The outer contract D'Ambrosio requested a trade to Hawthorne where has been offered greater security, with the Bombers receiving a third round pick currently 61 and a future fourth round pick tied to Collingwood. Thank you everyone for watching this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.